Priced out, addressing Arizona's housing crisis. New tonight, local faith leaders speaking out, detailing the struggles of some members of their congregations. They're now calling for more action at the state capitol. ABC 15's uh, Josh Cristianto has more. Here at the Church of the Epiphany in Tempe, they're doing more than just eating pancakes on this Tuesday. The church has always been involved in political issues. Um, we don't call them political, we call them moral. This church is one of 30 congregations part of the Valley Interfaith Project, focusing on how faith can inspire social change. This Thursday, the group will take on a hot button issue at the state capitol. Three bishops and other clergy will push lawmakers to advance bills that increase affordable housing options across the state. Most of the housing that's going up appears to me to be very unaffordable. Uh, new apartment buildings are going up, multi-story, new condos. On our campus regularly, we encounter people experiencing homelessness for different reasons. We have people come to our church asking for assistance, rental assistance, utility assistance, food assistance. These churches are also focusing on Arizona's low-income housing tax credit, calling for the state to renew and expand it. The group says the program, which expires at the end of next year, financed more than a thousand affordable units in 2023. One of the biggest problems is that Arizona stopped building housing during the time of the recession and the pandemic. Demand is high. The Department of Housing estimates we're short anywhere from 60 to 270,000 homes needed to meet that demand. All the more reason for these parishioners to keep the faith and finish the race. These are moral questions. We have a moral imperative to care for those who are on the margins experiencing poverty. Josh Castiano, ABC 15, Arizona.